Sorry about that. I'm going to have to edit that last part in because my dog was freaking out and needed inside and I accidentally stopped the video instead of pausing it. So that's my bad. And it was running too long anyways because I was struggling to put this build in. But this is how I did it. I'm just trying to do this as clean as possible for right now until I get the actual coils. Because as I said, I'm stripping this build tomorrow because I have custom coils coming in. But that's how I lined them up. They're not exactly perfect, but it's also not horrible. These are the 6-wrap Watofo Tricor Fused Claptons. Let's power this baby on. 2345. Saying low resistance. Sweet. So that means I'm going to unscrew this, screw it on. This is why I recommend having a DNA device or one of those... Um, Things that just heats coils up for you. Because in case it doesn't read on whatever, you can just throw it on that. Take my Voltrove off. Juicy. Throw this on here. We'll get this heating up nice. Just reading it at a point nine one that should fix after clean this up some turn the water way down <laughs> that should be good where's my ceramic tweezers yeah those bent while well, I was trying to unscrew that top cap but that's okay Make sure these are, make sure your coils are glowing evenly and you don't have any hot spots because that can end up pretty bad. I've got a nice one right here. So I'll be back once I finish with that. And here we go, we're back. Coils glowing nice and evenly. I'm not going to put this back on the double wrap barrel right now just for the sake of uh, I just want to get it done with this. Now the cotton I'm going to be using, Firebolt cotton. I've been loving this stuff. This and the Native Wick Platinum Plus. And then I have, this one's not even open, the regular Native Wick. And then an empty bag. Native Wick and Firebolt's where it's at. I like Firebolt because it's just easier to deal with. And honestly, Firebolt doesn't have that excess taste. I feel like the other ones do which I don't know those are fine after they broke in but I feel like this has way less of a break in time and where these are only three millimeter which sucks uh, that's all I have right now I'm gonna pull off a good bit of cotton so they can fit through good make sure these things are cooled down and time to install now I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine these things are gonna need a good amount of cotton so we're going to go with that right there, and then snip it. Uh, I might have to use two of these. Yeah, I'm going to have to use two of these, so I'm going to pull this through more. Because this thing takes way more cotton than all my usual stuff, so I'm going to cut that right there. Cut that right there. Grab another thing of Firebolt. Thin it out. Thin, thin it out. It's the only thing I hate about it, it's having to do that, which it's pretty sure, does this say what it's, I think these vaporize is actually made for 3.5 millimeter. Well, not made for it, but it fits those perfectly. Because that's what I have in my Voltro over some 3.5 millimeter stags. Pull this one through on this side. 
nice and tight. Make sure this cotton's not getting affected. Nice and tight. Make sure that's good. And then, well, bam. Yeah, I cut the shoelace, the aglet. No one knew. Thing on your shoelace called an aglet. I'm weird, and I know that. Take the paper fast. Okay, now let's. Actually, let's just make sure this goes. Yeah, that goes down enough. Let's thin this cotton out some, though. That's how I do it. The Dang, this thing gets hot. That's because I was heating coils up on it, but. Make sure the cotton's spaced out good. Boom. Now, honestly, I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to wing this. I'm going to cut a little bit right there. Hopefully that's good enough. Actually, I'm going to... Yeah, that should be good enough. And cut a little bit right here. And I'm going to take my trusty flathead, stuff this cotton down in here. It's thinking about a good amount of cotton, guys, so make sure you get it good. And they're good. Other side. Actually, I'm going to cut a little bit more off of this one because looks like it might be a little too much. Just a little bit. And we're going to see if the way I wick this is correct. And then I'll go over the wicking. Okay, so, before juice, probably looks really weird on camera, but, boom, boom, boom. Let me grab the juice I'm going to be using in this, which is Punch, which is kind of a Hawaiian Punch by Vagabond Vapors. Very solid. I've, I've had this juice. Juice. I've had two or three bottles of this, so I know what it tastes like, so we'll see how how we do on this. Let's get her juiced up. Oh, yeah. This cotton's... It's absorbent, but not really at first, which doesn't say much. But once it gets in there good... Well, it, it absorbs faster than cotton. God, I hate cotton bacon. Oh, God. Because every time I've ever used cotton bacon, juice just rolls off that thing. It's only on 76 watts, so it's not going to be that impressive right now. Juice her up more, juice her up more, juice her up more. Okay, that's done. So let's go ahead, because I don't want to mess this up. Close off. The air flows because I'm going to try to get no leaking at all on this. Chimney section. Screw this baby back in. Have it to where the juice flow is closed. These are huge, huge wick ports, by the way. Fill her up. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't have picked my mad monitor for this if this thing's going to try to leak on me. But everything's closed up. Do that. Off. And then how do we... How do we tighten you back on there? Are you on? I don't know if it's on. I don't know if it's on. It's on up yet. Okay, no. Okay, you're off. I'm going to look at this. You're off. And then... Line that up. And then counterclockwise to lock it. Okay. So, let's open the airflow. Open the juice flow, please, Jesus Christ. And that is... The Fatality 25. Now let's bump the wattage up. I've got it on 73. Let's hope to go this thing don't leak on me. Turn it up to 86 to 0.09, which hopefully 
I'm hoping that reading changes because Double Barrel can't read below 0.1. So that would suck, but 86 watts, everything looks fine. Airflow is wide open on both these right now. I've never vaped on a fatality, but we're about to find out. Okay, that's good. I think I actually like that full open. I see bubbles, it's wicking good. I'm gonna try to edit everything out. So if you see a couple weird things in this review, sorry. But so far, Wiccan. I don't know if you guys can see the bubbles there. Let's close one of these. <laughs> Oh, that's good flavor. Oh, I'm looking like a champ still. Close one of the air flows off. No. Airflow wide open, for sure. Which it does have that, uh, it's got that airflow hive adapter thing in it. I was going to put that in anyways. I didn't know they'd already have that installed when it came in it, but that's pretty solid. So I feel this thing's going to definitely shine more wide open. So let's take another hit. I feel like the bottom one, I don't know if you can see, because you can you can see through all the way through the bottom one, like you can see. There's my finger. You can see my finger. But the top one is more, it, it's not as wide open as the bottom one, which is kind of odd, but whatever. It's their design. Love the drip tip. I wish, oh. It says Fatality up here, the logo, deeply engraved, loving that. Let's take a hit on it and take another one. Or actually, I'm going to crank the wattage up more. It was on 86.09. Let's go up to 95. Because I feel like this thing's definitely going to shine at higher wattages, which I know I could probably put more through it, but I've only got three millimeters in here, and I'm not trying to kill myself if I do get a dry hit, but it is wicking very nice. That's a good vape. That is nice. Damn, dude. I'm gonna have this as my daily bangers, you guys can see. Bubbling, say that again. Tons of bubbles going. You can see the bubbles, kinda. Things wicking like a champ. This is my first QP product. My cousin has a original juggernaut and he has the juggernaut mini i like both of those and i was so happy to finally get one of these brand new glad it came in early came in on my birthday wasn't supposed to come in till monday but he said the owner of bluegrass said it just shipped through super fast but i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm gonna i'm gonna get to some video gaming before my girlfriend gets off work and i have to go get her and i'm gonna go celebrate my birthday and this thing's definitely going along with me um, if I had to rate this thing 1 to 10, build quality is amazing, coils were super easy to install, love the drip tip, airflow is nice, huge, huge wick port, so I don't know if you can, like here, I'll try to show you, on this it's just probably like 4 or 5 centimeters apart, and this one's about double that, which I'm loving it, I understand this thing is going to be a juice hog. I got the juice for it. I don't know what VGPG this is, but it's a three nick wine punch. Well, I think it's a wine punch. It's called punch, but that's what it tastes like to me. 95 watts, 0 0.09. See if I need a good cloud shot. Huge clouds, real nice flavor. Things wicking like a champ with that Firebolt cotton. Um, I don't know where you can buy this, but if you want to buy this and you don't have one yet, I know a few of them are still in stock at subtanksupply.com. I think they're $75. I don't know how much after that. I got in on the pre-order and got it for 68 
so I got it cheaper that way, and um, yeah, I'm absolutely loving this thing. I will do another video tomorrow when I get my better coils in, and I'll do like a more like build shot tutorial type thing, but as of right now, I'm loving it, and I'm going to get off here and keep vaping on this thing. I'm going to put it on my double barrel V3. Boom, I got the Arctic camo. And, uh, yeah, this is Aries Vapes. Peace out, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, follow me on Instagram at Aries Vapes. If you liked the video, like it. If you liked it so much, I'm going to try to start uploading more. So subscribe if you want to do that. Um, I hope this helps somebody out. If you're interested in buying it, definitely recommend it. 75 bucks is a little steep for most people. But QP is more of that higher range of vape stuff. So, no. It's pretty good. So, peace out guys. Aries Vapes.